I think for John, it was always, all the songs he wrote, or to me, at least out of my, what I know, what my knowledge, John writes always about himself. And it doesn't mean that he means that for the whole, the rest of his life, like talking like uh, about Paul in that song, or whatever you call it. You know, he felt like this at this particular moment. And he always, he has this gift, which I haven't got. I can't write songs. I really, I mean, I can write music, but I can't write lyrics. The way he uses the words, and it's so strong. And it's always something he um, did himself, something out of his, out of himself. That's uh, particular in this case, he's only talking about himself. He's very egotistical, you could say. Oh, but why not? You know. It's a strong comment, and it's really for him to show that he doesn't believe in all this. At this particular time, with John, it's always like, next minute he thinks different, but this song he wanted to go out there, and the strongest way to show people is to make that stop right when he says Beatles, you know. One thing he did, I don't even know if I should say this on camera, but I will. When the song was finished and he was going to record it one more time, he recorded one time, he said, you're going to do another take, well, my voice is gone, you can hear his voice, it's just, just so hoarse, and he loses his voice really quick. So he w wanted to go out and sing and he came up to me I don't know why he came up to me. Maybe he went to other people and came up to them too and asked me, Klaus, you think on the end, uh, when I say I believe in, in, uh, in the Beatles, you think I should say just, I just believe in me? Or should I say I just believe in me, Yoko and me? He asked me. I didn't answer. I said, John, that's a question I can't answer for you. Well, I think if you put the two next to each other now, you will still find that Imagine, uh, just in particular that song by itself, is commercially a bigger success. It is, I'm, it's big. It's big. That song Imagine is so big, it's unbelievable. And this uh, Plastic Owner Band LP is more a piece of art that's going to be will sustain maybe longer than, than the Imagine LP. That's very possible because of the freshness, because of the cheekiness, the way it's done, and because of the direct words John is using, because it's so personal. So personal, I don't think ever anybody has become that personal. And that's why it will be a milestone.